Hi everyone, it's Miss Kirsten. Welcome back to another Pajama Story Time. So today is Valentine's Day, so we are going to read this book called Snowy Valentine, and it's written by David Peterson, and it is published by Harper Publishers. We do not own the rights to this book, but I hope you guys enjoy it. On a snowy Valentine's Day, Jasper Bunny still could not think of a gift good enough for Lily. Jasper loved his wife very much, so he couldn't give her just any old gift. Perhaps seeing what my neighbors are doing for Valentine's Day will give me an idea for the perfect present, he thought. He stopped at the porcupine's house. We are each knitting a scarf for mother, said the seven porcupine children. A handmade scarf did seem like a good gift for Lily, but Jasper couldn't get the hang of knitting. On his way, Jasper saw a glow coming from the frog's window. I bet Miriam will have a good suggestion, thought Jasper. She always has such wonderful taste. Inside, Miriam showed Jasper a box full of chocolate-covered flies. Landon will be so excited when he wakes up, she whispered. I'm sure he will, Jasper agreed pleasantly. He thought, this is a treat for a frog, but it's definitely not something my Lily would enjoy. Still no gift in sight or mind, Jasper plodded past Everett's wagon. Step right up, gushed the salesman. I've got beautiful blooms and fantastic flowers. But all of the raccoon's flowers had wilted from the cold. None of them matched the beauty Jasper had in mind for Lily. Jasper was worried. It was getting late and he still had nothing for Lily. Jasper, called Tegan, what are you doing out on this cold, snowy Valentine's Day? I'm searching for a gift for Lily, Jasper replied, but I don't know what to do. Come in and we'll brainstorm by the fire, Tegan said warmly. I do understand, Tegan said. I myself have been hunting all day for a Valentine's gift to impress my vixen faith, and I think rabbit stew is just the ticket. Before Jasper knew it, he was in the soup. Uh-oh. Terrified, Jasper waited for his chance. When Tegan walked away to pull out Faith's chair, Jasper sprang out of the pot and escaped, quick as a bunny. Jasper was wet and cold and ready to give up when Spalding called down. This necklace of winter berries will make a wonderful Valentine's gift for my mate. Don't you think, Jasper? Yes, it is a splendid gift, said Jasper sadly, but I have nothing for Lily. I have been around the entire valley and I can't give her a handmade scarf or wilted flowers or chocolate flies or any gift at all if I become rabbit stew. The Cardinal looked thoughtful. Hmm, no gift you say? From where I sit, I see you have given Lily a wonderful gift already. Back at the burrow, Lily stepped outside to wait for Jasper. She saw the heart he had made for her. Look at the little heart in the snow. And she loved it. Jasper's journey showed the greatest gift he could give, his love for her. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed Snowy Valentine, and I hope you have a great rest of your Valentine's Day, a great rest of your week, and I'll see you back again next week. Bye.